Good morning, it's Rob Hudson from salesing.com. This morning we're going to open up our new Vaccaros Atlas II race computer. Really excited to see what this thing can do and take a uh, first look at it. Uh, we want to use it not only to improve our own sailing racing performance, but also uh, salesing.com. We want to use it to help us to get analytic data around different performance changes of our different sailboats depending on what we do with our trim and and body position all these kinds of things and until now we really didn't think we had seen a race computer that had the accuracy uh, to give us good data and so we're really looking forward to seeing uh, how this looks on the front of the box it has a pretty nice graphic of what it would look like when you're using the device uh, it's got a little bit of a graphic for just how thin this device is. Um, here's the Vicaros name and it's the Atlas II. Uh, the box is a very um, nice Apple-like box. It's a nice hard hard cardboard little ribbon here for opening up up the case. Inside you'll find that it has a nice carrying case, kind of a rubberized zipper pack. And inside that, I'm sure we're going to find the the Atlas too. And then, then you've got a little card here. So when you open up the box, inside the box, you'll find a little card like this. And it has a QR code on it. And beneath the card is a little charging. It looks like a Qi compatible charging unit, kind of like what your modern mobile phone will have and then the USB cable to charge that um, so on the card it has the QR code so we'll go ahead and scan that code and see what happens so start up our camera app do that it tells me okay I'm gonna go to my browser and once I do that I get to the Atlas welcome and it has a little chat area so you can talk to somebody if you need help. We're not going to do that. And it gives you some brief introduction of the controls, what everything does on the device. The manuals and basically tells you that you should download the Vicaros app and install that on your, on your device. So I have already done that. And so this VK is the app that I need, and we're going to click on that. So here's what it looks like when you first get on the app. And now I'm going to go ahead and I've already registered, so I'm going to go ahead and just say log in. So what you need to do is add a boat profile, and I've added my boat profile. In adding your boat profile, it basically asks you for different specifications around your boat. And then you assign Atlas's, Atlas 2's to your boat. And so you can assign them to different boats if you wish to, and you can create different profiles and that sort of thing. So I've already done that for my, for my boat. So now I'm going to click on the device tab here. And on the device tab, I can add a, add a device. So let's go ahead and look at the device. So unzip the package. And inside, you'll see that on one side, you've got your Velcro straps and mounting materials. And on the other side, with a nice little protective thing, is the actual Vicaros unit. So this is, this is the orientation they expect it to be in. Uh, is vertical like this. Power button's up on the top. As you can see, there are some hard buttons here. There are LED lights, and there are also some water-resistant speakers two water-resistant speakers at the bottom. So let's go ahead and, and turn this unit on. So it's initializing. Okay, so now if I want to add this device to my boat, first you have to add a boat, then you add an atlas to it. And so in order to do that, I go to my boat profile I click on the boat profile. It then has an orange button that says add device. I click the power button. That allows me to see the QR code specific to this Atlas II. I hit add device. Select the device that I'm using. 
and now I have this screen. It found the device and it's now connecting the two. I'm naming it. This is really naming the Atlas device. So if I had multiples of these, I could say that this is one device or another, you know, device one, device two, etc. It says device is ready to use. Now, periodically, the device goes through and uh, reinitializing, and I think that's just updating its software with any settings changes that you create, updating the internal software of the device. So it says, select a, a device to add to that boat, which I've now done, and then it says to name a profile, so I can have different profiles depending on, maybe I have different uh, settings for different types of uh, competitive events and stuff and so this is this basically allows me to do a named profile and create multiple profiles so I'm going to hit save and now my device is on the unit and again the Atlas 2 updates to now tell it that it's tied to this this particular boat so then if I click on if I click on the new profile that it's created it gives me a bunch of different settings that I can change, including 24-hour clock. I can change what time zone I'm in. Uh, what uh, if if your device is oriented just slightly off, then you can actually tune in to get some offsets to allow to adjust for that. Um, it also gives you the ability to remove the device and clear the settings and all that kind of thing. Um, and turn on backlight and a number of different different features we can go through in more detail later but that's basically the process of getting started and i'm already now in a position where i could put this on my on my boat and i can track my performance so uh, just quickly we have start reset so we reset the starting countdown uh, angle and uh, setting the line line distance and that kind of thing and then you can switch between screens by putting hitting this button down here and if we were to hit start it would already start counting so that's the that's the atlas 2 unboxing as i said we'll go through some more details about um, uh, the different screens the different configuration things that you can change and uh, but i think overall What's really impressive to me is it's a very solidly built unit. It appears to be very easy to see. In fact, they, they uh, claim, the Vicaros people claim that it's easy to see in even the brightest sunlight because of the kind of liquid, liquid ink kind of look to the LCD here. And uh, it has a little lanyard to allow you to secure that to your boat just in case it falls off of its mounting clip. It has a, an internal battery that lasts a, a very long time. And again, to charge it, you just place it on the charging base. Or even if you're in a pinch and you're off traveling somewhere, you can set it on a, uh, on a phone charging, magnetic resonance phone charging base. So very nice. It uh, lasts a long time. Uh, in some of the materials it talks about with just a brief charging in the morning or but uh, a short charging in the morning you can get 24 hours of use out of the device so if you accidentally forget to charge the unit um, it doesn't take too long for you to get back to to use so we're very excited about this uh, new device and and we're going to give it a try and uh, see how that can help us to improve our, both our, our racing performance as well as help us to create more uh, knowledgeable articles on salesing.com to demonstrate through data as well as uh, use of the boat, different skills and such, show with data how that changes your performance.